Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever. It's another episode of a Stone Whisperer. And we're back in Earthstone today, and we're going to go and have a wee look at the arena once more. After the last arena run, I was able to get 150 gold, so that pays the price of admission, and we'll come back and take a look. So, I've been doing a little bit of a reading on uh, arena, and I'm a little bit more up to date with it. So, trying to work out the best classes here. Now, we have Rogue, Warrior, and Druid. So, Druid can be solid. Uh, uh, nothing special. No real removal spells, however. Uh, a warrior can be good. Is a bit iffy in arena. I'll actually go for warrior though, as I just feel a bit more comfortable playing that in arena. So let's choose and see what we get. So let's see, we have the questing adventurer, a frothing berserker, and a pint sized summoner. The minions are always a big focus in Arena, so a uh, Froth and Berserker naturally seems like a, a good choice, as does a Pint Sized Summoner. I think I'll go for the Berserker though, as that's just a nice solid 2 4 body there for only 3 mana. So, that's our first card. Seems to be going well so far. Okay, so we have Inner Rage, deal 1 damage to minion and give it 2 attack, charge, uh, sorry, a Reckless Rocketeer with charge, and a Torn Warrior. So, both of these cards, or all of these cards rather, can be a bit iffy. Uh, there's nothing really that stands out as really, really solid. I'm having a quick look at the moment, I'm just quickly dragging into my little guide I've got here to the side. Uh, let's see, Reckless Rocketeer, Inner Rage, Torn Warrior. Uh, to be fair, I think they're all fairly rubbish. Nothing kind of really stands out. is a okay card. Uh, what was the other one? Torn Warrior. I see a fair people take them. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong section. about that, that little technical issue, so if you've noticed a wee glitch or edit there, I do apologise. Um, we will go for Inner Rage, see that just gives us a, a little bit of damage there. Now we have the Stone Tusk Boar, a Cruel Task Master, and Execute. So I believe we Taskmaster's pretty good, so I'll go straight for him there. I think actually what is Execute may be better. I think Execute Taskmaster. I'll just double 
check what people are saying again about that. I think they're both pretty good, aren't they? I'll go for the Taskmaster, that gives me an extra minion there. Now, um, I actually read uh, on my la one of my last videos a uh, little bit of uh, people saying I really, really missed the ball on the War Golem. So, I think it will probably end up being the War Golem again. So, Cleave's a nice card as well. All about minions, really, now. So let's pick the war golem. Now we give uh, Arcanite Reaper or a Worgen Infiltrator. I know the Harpy isn't really at the uh, top end, shall we say. So let's have a look at Arcanite Reaper. always got to be Arcanite really isn't it? The weapons are super good. So now let's go for that. The Acolyte of Pain immediately stands out here as a, a good card. Um, seeing you. Yeah, lacking a bit of card draw. Well, lacking any card draw currently, so the Acolyte of Pain is great. Now, the Fairy Dragon and the Dire Rope Alpha are both pretty good, and the Frost Elemental. Also, fairly happy with that one. So, Fairy Dragon, Frost Elemental, and Dire Rope Alpha. Do I go for a big body or do I go for a fairy dragon? Fairy dragon can't be removed easily, so I've got a war golem there. Let's go for a fairy dragon. Now we have uh, Execute, a Raptor, and Nightblade. Now we passed over Execute before, so that's definitely an option and execute always good to remove minions so that is a good choice the blood pen raptor is also just a nice solid card f32 I'll ignore the night blade I don't believe that will be much use so raptor or execute we're currently lacking any removal so Let's take Execute. Now, we're getting into some un... well, sorry, rare cards, these are. Now, Commanding Shout isn't top, so I think it leaves the Argent Commander and Mortal Strike. Well, Mortal Strike's a nice, solid way to do damage, but really, Argent Commander is a same damage, just charge, but also let you remove that thing. Yes, yes, it will need to be Argent Commander. So let's see. Action there's a solid body that lacks any spells to back it up, really. As does a Pyromancer. So is it the Sun Fury Protector? Let's go for the go uh, option here. I mean, it's a solid 4 4. Or do I go for our Sun Fury? It's one of these two. It's a tricky one, isn't it? Let's have a quick look. What do people think? People rate Auctioneer and Pyromancer are in the same if 
some fuzzy blue one actually. So let's look at our mana curve then. Now if we get more weapons though, that will take that. So let's go for the Pyromancer. If I get another Arcanite Reaper, I almost want to take that. And that would actually take a five mana slot. So let's go for a Pyromancer. Now, South Sea Deck and Elegant North, it's okay but incredibly situational. The Frost Elemental and the Zombie Chow are pretty nice cards. Let's have a look at Zombie Chow. Hmm. Or Frosty. Zombie Chow is good for early game, but lacks impact. In fact, can actually hurt you further down the line. It does very, very good to it, giving you immediate board presence. That I'll go for a Frost Elemental. Yeah, it just gives me another big body. One thing I did notice with the uh, earlier arena games was that. I was always getting into the late game. And there was no really early kills, so let's take that. Oh, well, we've got a good choice here. War Golem or the Arcanite Reaper again. I think I have to go for the Arcanite Reaper. One War Golem's good, two, maybe too much. So, there we go. Strangleborn types are really good as well, actually. And an abuse of sunshine, what shall we go for? Let's have a quick look and see what people say. I think it's really the strangle form. A little dangerously dragging up some high cost cards there. But let's go for a tiger anyway. Now, this is straightforward. Fiery War Axe. Exceptionally good card. I don't even need to think about that one. Uh, it's a very, very good card. So, click on that. Um, wow. What can you say about that? It's pretty dreadful. Um, all three of those cards are mediocre at best. Um, okay, apparently actually the Storm and Champion's good. I suppose it is when you think about it. Uh, it does buff away our minions and again as games go longer so yeah, let's, let's go for Storm and Champion. Uh, Leper Mom's good as is Execute. Execute. Hmm. We're lacking low damage, but we've still got plenty of cash to go, so let's just pick Execute. Now we've got a good choice here. Notion Venture is a nice card because, well, you can draw a card. Wisp, no. Uh, the Corcoran Elite is also really good though, so what one shall we pick? An inventor or the Corcoran? I think you've got to go for a Corcoran really, haven't you? We've got uh, Acolyte already for a little bit of card draw, so let's go for the Elite. Ah, the Death Spite is a card as well, as is the Amani Berserker. So, I think you have to go for a weapon though. Weapons are always fun. So we've got the Rappy Weaponsmith there as a nice solid card. Again, it fills that 4 slot. 
are going to really look like quicker now, sadly. Um, and Sludge Belcher. I always like Sludge Belcher. It's such a tough card to get rid of. Um, let's see. Let's see, yeah, I'm not quite good. And people don't rate it overly highly. Maybe it's just me. I think it's the best type of free though, isn't it? Well, let's pick it and uh, we'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Uh, we've, you know, caught the Lorax there, so again, can't be a good flaming axe to the face. So, got three cards there, neither of which are overly impressive. And probably the best I've got is a Stompick Commando, but her mana curve is starting to get a little bit high there. How do you think? One, two, three, four already in the five slot. One, we've got two in the three slot. It's not the Harpy. But I think the Storm Pit Commando is the better card, but the Torn Warrior fits in a bit better into my mana curve here, so I'll go for that as well. Now the Scarlet Crusader is a really good card, I don't think I need to think about this one. Of course, there's no spell damage. Again, that's a five slot. Probably actually would have picked the Storm Pit Commando if I'd known this was coming, but well, some gun, some to lose, so let's all we click here. Now we've got Inner Rage, Ancient Brewmaster, or an Earthen Ring Farseer. Pretty sure the Farseer is the best option. Heals for free. A free free body there. Fills up some early cards, slots, early mana. Let's go for him. And uh, again, the Corcoran Elite's always a really, really solid card. So as you can see, we're now up to uh, 24 cards. The Stoneskin Cargoyle it's got a wonderful ability. I, I just really like the ability of Gargoyle's Hulk, but for only one damage, it's, it's easy killed, to be fair, or easily ignored, especially in the arena. So we'll go for Cochrane Elite, and so if I shadow of a doubt, I'd blow my own face off with the Mad Bomber. So let's pick the Cochrane Elite. Now, that leaves us with Dread Corsair and Iron for Grizzly, Orbit Adventure Company, Mercenary. I think all three of those cards are okay. There's nothing, you know, brilliant about them. Let's see, so it's Adventure Company. Mercenary. How good are they really? really saying much about them. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This might be five, but it's not a big body, so... I think people would say the Venture Company Mercenary is better. And really... Yeah. And makes people scared. So... Shield Block, I think, is going to be it. 
basic card gives you some health or armor and of course lets you draw a card so that's always good big question is though is it really worth it i'm gonna have to do a quick check here because again i'm not overly keen about zombie chat i just feel that i'd end up getting it a little bit too late in game let's look at the cruel taskmaster let's go for the cruel taskmaster yeah I was actually thinking shield block mainly there but I think what the problem is is that last time I delayed the inevitable too much by healing now if Alice gives me armor and it does let me draw a card is it really going to help in the long term not without any abilities or spells to make use of the armor so let's go for the taskmaster and uh, oh that's a good set of cards there the strangle one tiger the argent crusader argent squire sorry and the awesome commander and the fear of people or some commander. Three or less attack. I've got a few of those actually, haven't we? Yeah, let's go for a war song commander. How many one Yeah, that's that's okay. That's okay, let's go for that. And uh, we'll go for Rare Appy Weaponsmith again. I quit a 2 2 weapon. So. Although the Reason Fen Hunter is good, but again, a 3 3 for 4 with a weapon. I think I'll take that. So we've got Armor Smith, the Azure Drake, or Mortal Strike. I think really it has to be the Azure Drake, doesn't it? Or let's have a look, Armor Smith, that's it's a that's an uncommon card. Yeah, so if we go kinda of mid with it as with Yeah, let's let's go for Azure Drake, it seems to be a consensus. No, oh, wow. I didn't even realise, but that was all 30 cards. So, yeah, it looks a fairly solid deck. Having a quick look at things online as I was doing it certainly helped make a decision and swayed me a couple of ways. Uh, got a couple of axes there, got some more weapons. It's not the weapon overkill, I'm certainly still going to have to rely on my uh, minions to do most damage but it's certainly looking promising and uh, well I guess we'll soon find out if we get there in the end well thanks everybody this will either be three very short videos after this or if we're lucky 12 exciting ones well thanks very much for watching everybody take care have a great day now